Good afternoon, everyone. This is Pastor Kenny Lee coming to you from another undisclosed location with today's daily devotional. I want to share a passage of scripture with you from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 14, beginning with verse 22. Immediately, he made the disciples get into the boat and go on ahead to the other side while he dismissed the crowds. And after he had dismissed the crowds, he went up to the mountain by himself to pray. When evening came, he was there alone, but by this time the boat, battered by the waves, was far from the land, for the wind was against them. And early in the morning he came walking toward them on the sea. But when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were terrified, saying, It is a ghost. And they cried out in fear. But immediately Jesus spoke to them and said, Take heart, it is I. Do not be afraid. Peter answered him, Lord, if it is you, command me to come to you on the water. He said, Come. So Peter got out of the boat and started walking on the water and came toward Jesus. But when he noticed the strong wind, he became frightened and began to sink. He cried out, Lord, save me. Jesus immediately reached out his hand and caught him, saying to him, You of little faith, why did you doubt? When they got into the boat, the wind ceased. And those in the boat worshipped him, saying, Truly you are the Son of God. This is the word of God for us today. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I have been out in a boat before in the wind, on the waves, in the middle of a storm, on a lake much larger than this. And it's a very frightening thing. To think of being out there in a storm and then suddenly seeing somebody walk on the water is pretty amazing. I can understand why the disciples were afraid. I mean, in everyday life, nobody walks on water, but Jesus did. The disciples were awed by this amazing person who seems to be able to defy the conventions of nature at, at a whim this person who has the ability to calm storms, this person who has the ability to raise the dead and heal, um, heal the sick, give sight to the blind. And Peter, in a moment of amazing faith, said, Lord, if it's you, I want to walk on the water too. And Jesus tells him simply to come. Now, I don't know about you, but walking on the water would be a pretty daunting prospect prospect for me. I'm just not sure if I'm cut out to step out on the water depending on it to be solid enough for me to walk on, but apparently Peter was as long as he kept his eyes on Jesus. But when he began to be distracted by what was going on around him, in other words, when his circumstances, when when the natural order of things he begins to look around and sinks back into his natural state, which is a state of submission to nature and fear. God didn't intend for us to dwell in fear. Now, I know many of us have some fear around COVID-19. Folks in my house, we have, a, we have a deep respect for the possibility that something like that might happen to us and, and cause one or all of us to get sick and potentially even lose our life. And so we, we have respect. We have a healthy respect. And we should have because God gave us brains to use to keep ourselves safe and to, and to assess crisis and assess risk and make good decisions. But today, I want you to think about what it might be like for you to follow Jesus into a scary place. Now, I'm not telling you to go into Walmart without a mask on, okay? I'm not telling you to um, do something that's going to put your life at risk, but all of us have things that are daunting for us. And sometimes God calls us into places that aren't altogether um, and completely uh, safe for us. So just think about that, and let's... Let's listen to today's song. This is Highland's Song of Ascent by Hillsong United. I do not own the rights to this song. Oh, how high would I climb? 
Pray with me. Holy One, we thank you for this day, for this opportunity that we have had to hear your word, to find a moment's peace, to hear the wind blow, to hear the birds sing, the frogs croak, and the fish jump, and to know that you are God. And that all of creation sings of your glory. Lord, when you call us out into those scary places, when we feel uncertain, help us to step out in faith. To know that when we stand on the edge of the precipice, when you call us to yourself, that when we step into the air, you will either catch us or teach us how to fly. Continue to 
lead us in the way that leads to life. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I will see you again tomorrow.